In other words, that risk is a consequence of elite solidarity. When we asked them how the experience of the crash was going to affect their behavior, they would say, I might be more cautious. But when pressed by an interviewer, well, if you did something wrong before, how will you change your behavior? The answer was a kind of blank stare. And they would ask things like, well, what about the people who have lost their life savings, young people who can't go to university? And they would typically get the answer, this is a system. It's not under my personal control. What can I do? That is an apology without teeth. There is no self-referentiality about how behavior might be changed. Uh, there's no remorse. There's an enormous amount of reward at the top and an enormous amount of stagnation in the middle. And this is the modern form of inequality in the new capitalism. Here comes my provocation. Uh, don't we have to think about an alternative way of activity? Unpaid labor and internships and work experience have now become normalized across the horizon of getting a job as a young person. Even the UK government, it's very interesting. On the one hand, it wants to uh, create more equal opportunities in unpaid labor. So this is perhaps a very Gordon Brown kind of scenario. You know, equal opportunities to work for nothing. Um, is, is, you know. I think we are at a point now where we have to realize that maybe one of the futures or one of the um, realities we are facing is not modernity, but it's counter-modernity. Now we are confronted with a divorce. The whole uh, institutional setting is challenged, and we do not have any answers. Well, the only thing I'd say to you about this uh, is the toleration of uncertainty today is marked as something which is a privilege of the elite. And it would be very dangerous to scorn the notion, the counter uh, closure and all of that as a failure. It's the old discussion about postmodernism. You, you know, the more privileged you are, the more attractive postmodernism yeah. is to you. You know, it's the same, it's the same issue. But this is a much more grave problem. So either you assume that you can solve the class problem of the need for definition and closure, that is, reduce vulnerability, give everybody more of those conditions of the elite, or if you're not so idealistic, then you can't call this counter-modernity. It's a counter-strategy to inequality.